This is the project we're going to do today. I'm calling this one Tahitian Hideaway. Okay, I'm going to stamp on a piece of chrome coat glossy cardstock that's cut by five and a half by four and a quarter. And I have all my major stamps already pre-positioned in my stamping up stamping platform. I'm also going to be using a Misty Creative Corner so that I can offset the page. And I will start by inking up the boat. And I want to make sure I'm repositioned before I stamp my next item. And I prepared a little mask just on some post-it note of the boat. And next I will stamp this rocky bluff. Okay, next I will reposition my paper again. And I've created a mask for my rocky bluff. Next, I will stamp the Tahitian hut. And now I'll stamp the bungalows in the distance. Okay, I want to start coloring in this system now. So I am going to put a piece of tape here that I want to have for the horizon line. And I will start coloring with some blue. And I'm going to use some Alt New ink cubes because they come in sets of four with different varying values of the same color. So I will start with Arctic. Okay, next we'll do Caribbean Sky. We'll use the next Persian blue. And I'll remove the mask. And I will start with the Arctic. And now I'll use the same color inks to color in the water. And I'll use the mid-tone blue to color in the sand and the rocks and the boats. Okay, for the ground, I'm going to use some memento inks. I'm going to use desert sand and rich cocoa. And I will start with the desert sand. And I'll use one of my long skinny brushes to add some of the rich cocoa. Okay, I'm going to go back with uh, the darkest blue that I've used. Okay, and I'll use the rich cocoa to stamp this grass stamp. And I'll use a piece of paper to mask so I can have grass coming out of the cracks. Okay, now we'll use some Memento Northern Pine to stamp this palm frond. And I'll take the Tiny Rocks stamp, and I'm going to stamp some rich cocoa. Okay, and I'm going to put this back in my stamping platform again. And... And I'm going to take my Northern Pine and I am just going to ink up the trees on the little bungalows in the back here. And I wish I would have stamped them off first so they would have been lighter. Okay, and I'm going to let all of this ink now completely dry 
before I continue to make some touch-ups and we'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to use the small grass stamp and Memento Northern Pine and I'll again use a piece of paper for a mask when I want the grass coming out of the cracks. Okay, and I want to differentiate the uh, horizon line here a bit. So I'm going to put a mask back here and I'm going to use some Caribbean Sky. Okay, and I got some brown in here, so I'm going to use some Arctic and a clean brush to just see if I can help compensate for the splotches of brown here. And unfortunately, it didn't help much. And I'll work some more on this horizon line. Okay, in this bottom corner, I'm going to use the big stamp again. This time I'm going to use Northern Pine. Okay, I want to try and do something to mask this brown that I got over here. So I am going to mask off the Tahitian hut and then I'm going to ink up the sailboat trio just with memento. Okay, and I'll take my black memento marker and the part here that it didn't quite fill in. Okay, next I'm going to take my white gel pen and just add some highlights. Okay, and I think for all intents and purposes this is going to be done. I will take a marker and just add some birds up into the sky. And then I will sign and date it. And here is the final piece after it's been sprayed with the acrylic coating. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!